to Durham Town. Yay. Now we're in uh, Atlanta, of all places. I never expected to spend the night in a condo in the middle of the city, so we're out cruising. City folk ride. Too. Oh, yeah. We got Ray's division. He's already up there somewhere. Nice. He's one car. You ready, bro? Ready, bro. I'm ready. Shit, yeah, y'all ready? Here we are, we're getting to Durhamtown Off-Road Park in Georgia. It's been raining a lot, so it's mucky out here. You can see the dirt bike track to the right of us there. Mm. Obstacle course. Another track coming up on the right. It's gonna be a good time. Looks like they're doing a little maintenance. Supposedly there's a dirt bike race here this weekend. <laughs> Terrible conditions. I wonder if it's canceled or not. But uh, yeah, so we're here with Razor Division. We're gonna meet up with some other people like uh, Michigan Dirt and a couple other viewers from the YouTube channel are gonna meet us out here, so it should be a good time. I'm looking forward to it being wanting to ride here for a while. Fess from Razor Division says they got some wicked trails here, so it's gonna be awesome. It's pretty sloppy. He said it's gonna be muddy when we get in there. So we're gonna get to play in that red Georgia clay. Never ridden in Georgia yet before. It's my first time. So it should be a good time. It's gonna be fun washing the machines after this. So we're just gonna pull in here. Wow, look at all those machines. A lot of people here. A lot of dirt bikes. We got stores and restaurants and stuff like that there. Oh, even more here on the left. We got cabins you can rent. It's muddy. That guy's wearing shorts. <laughs> and I gotta change my shoes. Get it geared up in our fin trail gear because it's gonna be wet and sloppy, so we're gonna rock the fin trail. That's gonna keep us nice and warm and dry. Right. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. Gonna have a lot of cool video footage. It's gonna be a good time. Gonna uh, ride some trails we've never been on before, so that's always good. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Check out our channel for a lot of other videos. Check out both the channels, Adrenaline Junkie Prod and Adrenaline Junkie Projects. And make sure you follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook so you can stay up to date with all the awesome uploads and all the content we put up there on a regular basis. on another ride guys this is gonna be an interesting one there's a lot of unexpected events coming your way things didn't exactly go according to plan this ride but that's part of off-roading right this is our first trip down to Georgia so I can't wait to see what this ride holds make sure you check out our Shopify store and follow us on social media oh,
it's gonna be a sloppy one. I gutted the MBRP Power Sports exhaust and straight piped it, and that's a Rev 1 blow off valve you're hearing. The Razor sounds evil now.
got that on the freaking my cell phone video too. It's gonna be sloppy. First stop of the day, and uh, there's already mud. Look at this. The only clean thing on my razor is exhaust. Oh. It probably vibrates so much nothing can stick oh, to yeah, it. Look at that. Everyone's getting some mud. It's slick out there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. The clay doesn't look as red in the video. Uh, it's red. <laughs> decided to stop here really quickly and regroup one or two of the guys had to wipe off their windshields as you can see it's super sloppy it's really slick out there so um, I'm gonna do my best to keep the camera clean throughout the day so bear with me things are gonna get really interesting in a minute Oh gosh, it's cold. Oh gosh, it's cold. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, it's cold. Oh gosh. 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 Oh gosh.
Where is it? There's an edge I listen to my dad. Oh. Oh, really close. Yeah, I got so close. Oh, got yeah. 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 yeah, there's a big ledge right there. Oh, fun. <sighs> well, and <laughs> you. Perfect. There you go. Priorities. My phone. Oh. Is it in a case? Yeah, but it's not a very good water case. All the pulling gear and snatch blocks are in that black box. Perfect. Oh. Your phone you in there? Not destroyed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> Just turn it off and... It's not on. Oh, perfect. Oh. <laughs> I felt it and I was like, oh. You forgot that lip was there. <laughs> She has been baptized in the Georgia rivers. It's happened once already. I hope you deal with that in a minute. We, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Let water and water log. We'll get it rolling. Come to initiation day. Ten minutes in the ride. Here we are, bro. What happened, Jake? <laughs> Oh my god, I love it. Hey Brooke, that just means you that just means you were giving it hell, girl. Don't be mad at yourself. It's happened once already. I'll help you deal with that in a minute. Well, the carnage has begun guys. We got a haven't even started the ride, we got a high lifter um ranger flipped over, went too deep. Gonna go help him out.
So here I'm just trying to find another way around, but there doesn't seem to be a way to get across that creek. The current there is super strong and it's about five to six feet deep at least in the middle there. There's no way I'm getting my razor through there. So I figure I'll just go back the way I came. It's at this moment that adrenaline junkie knew he had f***ed up. Yo! I need him to hook up my winch right now. I know, I know. Come over and help me. Uh-oh. He got stuck there! <laughs> me, don't get... Watch out, that's deep. I'm almost taking on water. Actually, my CVT exhaust is completely submersed right now. Ventro. exactly the way he is. That way, okay? So I'm about a half inch from taking water into my CVT intake pipe here. The driver's side is buried. Yeah. Oh, and you might as well fake me. But for some reason in my head, I thought that I was about to take in water through my engine intake, so I was stressing out here. This is not good. This is not good at all. Like I said, my mind was playing a trick on me. I thought my air intake for my engine was on my driver's side for some reason, but it's high up in the air on the passenger's side. Yo, hold the brake! But for some reason, I just wasn't thinking straight and I thought I was gonna hydrolock here because my CVT intake was almost underwater, which at this point didn't really matter because my CVT was already full of water because the exhaust is lower than the intake and that was already completely submerged. But in a stressful situation like this, you're not always thinking straight. So <laughs> go ahead and bust my chops through this one, guys. As a lot of you will know from firsthand experience, you can get pretty stressful when you're about to write off an expensive machine. So as you can see, I'm a little stressed out here. My belt case filled up with water. That's the first time that's happened to this razor with me. I really try to avoid that. The clutches don't like to get wet. They're supposed to stay dry. My belt case is full of water right now to the very top. So I'm gonna pull it off, clean everything out and dry it out. That's good. If this happens to you, it's not the end of the world. Whatever you do, resist hitting the gas and slipping that belt and spinning those clutches hard. 
here you can see me draining the clutch cover with removing the little drain plug. That's not gonna be enough. I'm gonna open it up, make sure there's no debris in there. Now we have this fiasco to deal with over here. And I'm um, gonna let that belt and those clutches dry out real good. Don't try to drive it until everything's completely dry. Or you're gonna wreck that belt and possibly the clutches too. I'm back. <laughs> Alright, listen, hand me the black box. Float it to me if you can. Uh, it's heavy. Well, I can't get that far out there, so... Yeah, it gets a real... Uh... See if it'll float. Alright, push it to me. Oh yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay, Brooke, you need to get in there and ride it out if you can. Because you, you want it to come this way, so get in there and ride it. As it starts to topple, you climb in, okay? Right. Let's get out of the pole. Yeah. Rat surfing. Surfing USA. Oh, by the way, we lost something down that way. I'm sure there's a lot the of little, stuff. The only thing I saw get flooded down that way is the little, um, looks like the camping gear. Yeah. And then our bug spray went somewhere. Alright, here it comes. Get ready to ride it. Ooh, what a glow. Oh gosh. Julian's done for the day. His clutches are full of water. to work Toe strap, you could toe strap it to the back. Yeah. We have another thing right here. Mm -hmm. Woo, yeah, it gets deep. I got it. Water up the waders.
real sturdy. That's it. Yep, that's it. <laughs> so close, but so far away. <laughs> Get a little bit farther. Well, I figure how we're going to get hooked to you. Yeah, I've seen it. Below the roof. You know, I see it. We ain't close enough yet. It could be the current.
You got it, Brooke. Yeah, cut it that way. Yep. I mean, I can let it out if you want. I think it'd be good from there, though. Hey, yeah, put it in park and unhook that. I'll bring that yellow rope back over with me. Can you toss it in park? We'll try. We're going to have to uh, reattach. Yeah, put it in park. Okay. Stay there. Mad Max to the rescue, baby. No one left behind. No one. Back up a little. We're going to have to reattach. Smoke the belt this time. Right. It's a nice flowing stream. See what happens when you come to initiation day. Our Get first initiated. our first annual initiation day. And we're up. Raise Division Team AJP. But we back at it. Look at that. Look how good this guy is, good as man. Him. Look how good he is. This is why I trail with the best, bro. See that? Something happens, we break it, we fix it in the trail. And then we keep going. We break something else. Not much can deal with this, though. Look at this. Look how brutal this is. Before y'all judge the machine and what happened, first of all, look how the water's rushing. That's like six feet deep. Oh, yeah. And, oh, my God. And the whole thing is like that. Look at this. Talking about bad land. Just having a good old fin trail bath. Good old George Clay. Getting a little dirty there, Julian. Uh, yeah, but I'm dry. Got out of that hole. <laughs> I'm gonna do a front float. <laughs>
Well, I definitely lucked out. I pulled the belt case off. There's not much video of it. There's just too much going on. So I had to work on the razor while Shelby helped extract the other machine. And uh, Fest from Razor Division was helping with that too. So not much time to get video of what I did. But I always make sure I carry a lot of gear with me, some tools, some various supplies on longer journeys like this. A lot of you guys have asked me what I do take with me on trips. So I'm gonna put a little video together in the next little while when I get around to it to show you guys all that. But basically what I did is I pulled the cover off. I sprayed the clutches out really nice with brake cleaner. Then I spun them up, got everything dry, made sure it was uh, nice and clean. There was no debris in there. I sprayed a bunch of WD-40 in the moving components of the clutch just to make sure there's no water in there. After I was positive, everything was nice and clean and the clutch was engaging, I popped the belt cover back on and here you see it, everything's good as new. So I'm really lucky, I'm happy there was no damage there. Zachary and Nick from Michigan Dirt just got here. They're rocking a 2018 Razor Turbo S with a bunch of mods on it. Michigan Dirt and Adrenaline Junkie Pro will probably be working together quite a bit in the next little while. We're not that far apart from each other. We met through YouTube, so make sure you subscribe to Michigan Dirt's channel and stay up to date with him as well, as we'll be having some projects coming out from both of us in the next little while, so it should be a good time. They drove about 16 to 18 hours from Michigan to get here. So we're gonna spend the rest of the day riding together. Should be a good time. Hopefully it's the first of many adventures we end up going on together. Now that we're all regrouped, it's time to get back on those sloppy trails and see what else lies ahead. These are not the best trail conditions for this area, and this isn't the best time of year to be riding here, but it's kind of when we had some time before Christmas, we wanted to get out here and feel out the trails around here, the, the off-road parks and what they had to offer. The plan is to come back here in the spring or the summer with a bigger group of people and organize a nice big ride for our viewers and some of our friends. So we just wanted to get out here and get some rides on. So um, we're doing some recon here so that we know that when we come back, we kind of are prepared for what we're gonna see and uh, we can really experience them in the peak of the season. Like usual, I will keep you guys posted as to when we are planning that ride so that hopefully if some people wanna get out on the trails and join us there, you'll be able to come out, ride with us and be in some of the videos with us.
As I've said in the past, one of my favorite things about this YouTube channel is just the community that's grown around it and the fact that it connects us like-minded people together so that we can go out and have fun and experience these trails together. My goal is to ride with as many of you guys as I can and to ride in as many places as I can over the next few seasons. So um, I, I love getting out with you guys. I want to see more of the viewers in the videos. That's one of my major goals. So next time we do plan a ride, I'll hopefully give you guys more notice so that more people can join us out. So here we just doubled back to where we started our ride near the parking area to link back up with Mike who had the flooded Ranger. They managed to tow it back to their truck and trailer and now he's back out in his Razor 900 with his daughter. Oh, that's where we parked?
stuck in the water. Was it? Yeah. He blew a belt. I find they don't hold up for much at all. I mean, if you trail riding, they're fine. Yeah, I can smell it too. I didn't know it was me or one of you. Or mm -hmm. Yeah, when I was pulling that, the Ranger out of the, the pond over there, I might have started to slip. Yeah, I'm slipping. Yeah. 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 Hey, what's going on there? That's um, the best, old car. That's some carnage here. Oh, yeah. Look at her, man. Look at her. Only clean spot on the whole thing. It's supposed to be changing the not buffing the aluminum. <laughs> not, it doesn't have to be shiny. No one's going to see it. Spit shine in the clutch. You guys drove like 19 hours. Basically, yeah. Holding all nighter. Jeez. I, did. In a haunted I house. did. Don't let him Dude, take any credit crazy. for that. I did all the driving. <laughs> It was just an Airbnb. We show up and it's like from 1850 and it's like really, really old. And yeah. I mean, you could tell that you could just feel the history. <laughs> and I'll get the socket. So we're going to pull the secondary clutch. Always a fun time. You got to pull the clutch off now? Maybe. I wish I had my in there. Teamwork makes the dream work. If only we were born with three hands. Oh man, how'd that get me in trouble? <laughs> yeah, this is torque to 76 foot pounds. I think. You got snap ring pliers? The front end looks nice on these. Yeah. Could you put the lights in here? You can. Yeah. That's They're not I available. Want, I what? want it to blow They're, red. They're out of stock. You can't get them yet. You can talk to, to Fess over there. He just ordered a set. Did he? Because he's doing a conversion. And he's, he's got them, yeah. So not from Polaris, but... I want to change out the red, though. I want it to blow red. Yeah, she wants it to be oh, lit up cool. red. That's what I want. Cool. I'm sure it won't be long until the they're line. available yeah. on the aftermarket. I hope yeah. so. Because yeah. so. those fangs look sweet. Yeah. When they light up and stuff. What's going on, man? Just chilling, ripping, getting dirty. <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to Michigan Dirt and Adrenaline Junkie. We're gonna be riding in Michigan with them in the summertime, and yeah. maybe you'll take a trip down and see us too. I would like to. Yeah, that'd be First sweet. Trip in Canada. That'd be sweet. We'll take you up north or something. Yeah, you have fun. I want to go through those uh, crazy trails and see you guys doing. You want the technical? Sh yeah, I mean, I like it all, dude. I'm pretty big fan. Okay, yeah. we'll start with that, and if we still have razors, we'll go up north. Yeah, so I, like that. I like that. I like that. That's a good way to go about it. We, we, um, Shelby and I. That's Shelby. That's my girlfriend. Um, so we were thinking it'd be cool. We got this. We know this guy that has like an off-road resort. Yeah, up, is that where you ride at the track? No, it's like far up north. Like it's like it's like 12 hours up north, um, and it takes six hours in side by sides to get to the hunt camp. We want to do. A group ride so like it'd be cool to get together with like a, a bunch of people that are down i have a lot of people right that place me. sleeps like 20 people oh yeah yeah that's badass you're in <laughs> yeah, that's they're all known you for like their bear hunting and stuff and snowmobiling in the winter yeah. where's so, that exactly What's that's like... outside a place called wawa ontario all right. so north of Sault Ste. Marie. Yeah, I was actually just there <laughs> Sault Ste. Marie? Yeah. yeah i haul cars for a living so I right so you're all over the place yeah snap ring pliers Yes. Nice to meet you guys. Mike quickly drove back to one of the trucks because we left the snap ring pliers in there. He also took that chance to drop his daughter off at the lodge so that she could dry off since she was soaked from swamping that ranger. She found the warm stove in the lodge. <laughs> <laughs> and you left her there. Oh, yeah. Hey, did you see a wildcat? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> They're still trying to find the. <laughs> That's why I told them to go to road. Damn. I took the chance. I went to road. I think that walkie talkie is. You're not going to catch somebody. In the razor. I'll go look. Because I was stuck with Alex and they were trying to call us. Yeah, that would. That's a two piece? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's how good it goes. There you go. Get that you are not getting that out. Hold on, let me get a picture get of that. Get some on there. Take a picture of that somewhere. Boom. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Anyone got a phone? Yeah. I got have a shot of that. R.I.P. R.I.P. <laughs> that was easy. <laughs> Easier said than done. Yeah. Send it. Pretty much. Just gonna send it, right? Money. God damn! Oops. Sorry, Joe. I'm just f***ing torque. Horrible recording. Derek, let me get some screws, bro. We got them here. I got them right here. Oh, you got them? <laughs> Jake! We're about to get it, bro. <laughs> Y'all gonna run off and leave me for the first 20 miles. <laughs> yeah, I ain't breaking break this, right. bitch, bro. I look ahead time, you want to on. I put that badass like Evo belt on, man. Really we got that control arm on, and we didn't. Even, I forgot to break it in. Forgot I had a new belt on, and just. How you like it charged too? Y'all notice the difference when y'all change it? Uh, change the belts. Charge uh, tube. Oh, uh, charge tube. They definitely help. I have not mine, changed mine. You can just hear the turbo. Yeah, I know. You got an Evo one, right? Yeah. Are those the plastic ones or like those rubber silicone? Yeah. Just changed Bess's belt. you're hearing the driveline noise that's developed. That's developed because of me being stuck in that mud hole for an extended period of time. All the water and the grit 
managed to creep into the U-joints in my prop shaft that were already worn. I didn't have all the components I needed to maintenance the prop shaft before I left. The parts didn't come into the dealership soon enough, so I had to salvage what I had and just make the best of it. Sitting in that water really screwed me because that water and that grit manages to find a way in everywhere up into the seals of the U-joints, and now you're hearing that grit grind those U-joints apart. The noise is going to get progressively worse throughout the drive, but it's not anything to worry about. It's not going to lead to like an instant catastrophic failure or anything like that, but I will have to service the prop shaft when I get home. As a lot of you know, when you ride harsh, wet, muddy conditions like this, it takes a toll on all your seals, your bearings, your, your joints. All that stuff really wears out prematurely in these conditions. That's why it's so important to do preventative maintenance and keep up on, on your machine, make sure it's top notch or it's gonna to lead to unexpected failures on the trail and collateral damage. me here in the Razor 900 is our buddy Mike. Mike met us out here in Durham Town. He's been watching the videos for quite some time. It was his daughter driving the 900 Ranger XP that swamped in the first section of the video there. He's back out riding with us in his Razor. Um, they got the Ranger back to camp to the trailer and his daughter's warming up at the, um, at the lodge at Durham Town there by the fire getting all dried out. Mike and his daughter ride out here pretty often, but unfortunately sometimes things don't go according to plan, so like a lot of you know, unexpected events do happen when you're out off-roading. That's part of the thrill, part of the fun. You gotta take the good with the bad. She handled it like a champ. She jumped out of that machine, helped extract it, helped get it all back out to safety. Uh, didn't care about the water, didn't care about getting wet, made the best of a bad situation. And as far as I know right now, Mike's stripping that machine down. It didn't hydrolock. It turned off before it went under. And um, it's looking like he's going to be able to salvage that thing. And it's not going to have any serious uh, long-term repercussions. We'll be back on the trail in no time.
decided to stop here for a little bit too. There's this nice little jump in this whooped out section here. Michigan Dirt took the drone up in the air for a little while. Unfortunately, we didn't have the drone for very long because he kind of crashed it into a tree. But we got a couple cool shots and hopefully we can get a few more in the future. So there's gonna be some nice action shots from us ripping up and down here. The live valve suspension in the Razor Turbo S is just unreal. It's, on my books, it's pretty much like cheating. I thought the suspension in my 2017 Razor Turbo and Can-Am X3s was awesome until I saw the Razor Turbo S. Even on the Razor Turbo 4, the dynamic suspension works awesome. And the Forge Motorsports blow-off valve sounds insane. Sending it, bud, in the limo, the right off road on, limo. Oh. Yeah, baby, original. You boys having fun or what? Oh, man. Yeah, we got Michigan Dirt, Bammer guy, extraordinaire. That's right. Can't we got Georgia Dirt. We Jacob. Got Jacob, right, rocking that blue Turbo S, That's sending right. it like he's supposed to. I don't even recognize you, man. Who the hell are you? I don't know, because I'm dirty. He's a rookie, man. First ride out, and he's already. He's already planning his first <laughs> race. He literally touched it. Yeah, he did. We can that we can we can get it on video. Yeah, that was true. We kind of blocked. It, dude. <laughs> That's why I didn't break. You're still I smoking. Damn, oh, it's the mud. Man, that was close. Dude, I was from there. I'm like, it's gone. It's and done. It. It's done. Man, he, that was as close as you can get. Yeah, I thought he was gonna hit it. Yeah, so I didn't move yeah. him like, oh, and that would have right. been the worst place to hit it. It just just go around. Oh, I know, some hoonigan stuff. Yeah, we that should get Ken Block to bring his X3 out right. here. Show us how to do it. You 
got it, but you should have seen how close to you he came. I saw About it. as close as that. I actually think I might have still been pointing the camera your way while I was running for my life. <laughs> this thing does well. Oh yeah, it's smaller. Yeah, do another one up. I'll try to do another one. It's not as wet as it should be. I know, it's not easy. Like trails, who needs them? Give us a muddy, flat section of yeah. anything. We'll just do donuts all day. Hey, do you know how close you came to smoking him? I know, he told me. <laughs> he told me. Hey, yes. <laughs> you scraped his yeah, wheel yeah. too on that Turbo S when you came around and did the drift. You actually We're touched his rear tire. Yeah. Hit the rear tire. Yeah, you touched it. That's My how close it was. Yeah. yeah. That was skill. Yeah. Ken Block's gonna be tire. jealous, man. Did you get it on video? Of course I got it on video. Yeah. <laughs> That's a stupid question. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm like, oh no, we gotta tow him back now. <laughs> I was on the other side, so I couldn't see. When me and Zach went down there, almost hit that fucking tree in that curve. I yeah, I've seen you guys. I think we got that on video too. Yep, pretty sure we did. Yeah. You you endoed it real nice the first jump. I was like, whoa. Yeah, he endoed too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that thing about the four man. What the heck? Is that fogging up? Polaris headlight life. It's because they've got little like vent plugs on the back right, of them. Right. It looks pretty good. Your rad's nice and kit. Well, your intercooler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's definitely who did it. Don't worry, man. Drop it off at his shop. They do detailing and stuff, right? Look at this. Your exhaust is the only I clean thing on there. Yeah. Oh, nice. It's because it vibrates so much and it gets so hot, nothing can stick to it. And Fez freaking. It was clean until he yep, got yep. it dirty. Freaking pelted her. Dude, there was so much. How fun. you liking this Razor, man? Dude, it's so You having fun? Ass. It's so bad. It's such a wicked machine. If any of you guys are thinking about getting a side by side or considering a Razor, just quit thinking and go sign that paperwork. Pretty much. And Polaris, you guys can contact both of us with the royalty checks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah, go for a ride. Yeah. Someone's stealing my razor. Someone's stealing my razor. just about concludes our first ride at Durhamtown Off-Road Park in Georgia. 
it was a blast, it was sloppy, it was messy, but it was still an awesome time. We had a lot of unexpected events from swamping a ranger to blowing belts to having other issues. Part of the game when you're off-road and you never know what's coming around the next corner, so you just kind of got to adapt and make the best of it. Can't wait to get back here, can't wait to come back to Georgia area and ride again. Looking forward to our next ride in Tennessee, that's probably going to be one of the next videos. Uh, we check out Brimstone and I also can't wait to get back here in the spring and summer and really take advantage of these uh, off-road parks uh, when we have a little bit more time to spend here. Before we load up and leave, we're going to head over to Durhamtown Lodge. We're going to get ourselves some dinner at the restaurant there. They've got pretty good food. I mean, we've been out all day, haven't had anything to eat, so we're going to get ourselves some nourishment. We're also going to rinse off the razor a little bit before we load it up on the trailer. They have a full pressure washing facility on site as well as cabins and camping and lodging and stuff like that like I mentioned earlier but we won't be spending the night here. We're heading back to Atlanta and we're going to spend the night in the condo with Fess and do a bit more riding tomorrow on some of his more local trails around home. Thanks again for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out some of our other videos if you haven't done so already and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the new content. And if you're looking for more videos to watch, then also check out and subscribe to Michigan Dirt on YouTube. You can also watch his version of this trail ride video on his channel. He's also got an Instagram page if you want to follow him there. You can also check out the Razor Division Instagram and Facebook pages where you're going to see pictures from this ride and other cool content from rides in the area. There's a lot more videos to come. Like I said, I'm a little backlogged, I'm a little behind. It takes a lot of time to edit these videos on a one-man team, so bear with me. I try not to skimp out on quality. I put a lot of time into these edits, so um, that's why sometimes it might take a little while. It's my goal to get all caught up with the content by spring, so when spring, summer rolls around, we can be really active with going on a ride, filming it, editing it, and uploading it as, qu as quickly as possible. But until I get caught up, there's going to be a big jumble of videos. They might not all be chronologically in order, but I'll make sure to let you guys know when they were filmed and where they were filmed so you can have an idea of where we're riding. So thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please share the videos with your friends. We're trying to grow the subscriber numbers. The more subs we get, the better our videos rank on YouTube. The major goal is to get as many people viewing these videos as we can. As the view numbers increase and the subscriber count goes up, Hopefully other teams of YouTubers and maybe even businesses will want to work with us and help us create even better content for you guys to enjoy into the future. Like I've said in the past, all the proceeds generated from this channel, which isn't that much, do go directly back into the channel. I use all the proceeds mostly just to fund new camera equipment and gear to make the videos better quality. Also, if you feel like you'd like to support in a different way, then you can check us out on Patreon, as well as check out the Shopify store, get yourself some t-shirts and some other swag. As always, thanks for the support and thanks for watching. is just a short drive from the parking area that's also where you get your trail passes and where the restaurant and the park store and stuff like that is just pulling into the car wash here in South Carolina Car wash here, gonna wash off the razor. Get this baby cleaned up for a trip to Tennessee that's coming up shortly. We're leaving tomorrow, meeting up with our buddies from Blind TV. Razor is filthy. Gotta fuck few knocks coming from it, a few weird sounds and noises. I'm gonna wash it off and hopefully get everything sorted. I got a bit of play in the front end here somewhere. I don't know where it's coming from. Something feels loose in the front. Almost like a loose brake caliper, but it's not that. So I'm gonna have to figure out where that play is coming from. Maybe it's like a bush. Oh, that explains it. I got no CV bit. Great. I'm completely missing a CV.
Hmm. And I didn't bring a spare front axle by accident. It looks like this has wrapped itself around my axle. Great. Very good. Hmm. So we'll have to figure out a way to salvage that for the rod. And it's full of grass in there. Damn it. That sucks. So we'll wash her out and hope for the best. See what we can come up with. See what we can do. See about fixing that CV boot somehow. happy about that. It doesn't look like there's any other significant damage that I can see right now. Wow, that's silly. I didn't see that happening. Well, can her get her hose off and see what we can do. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. And stay tuned with this thing as it gets abused on the trail. Waffle House. Yep. Heading to Tennessee. Gonna meet up with our buddy Chris. Just gonna get some calories in us before the road trip. We're about four hours away. We're coming from South Carolina where my parents are. And we're heading to Tennessee. And we'll be staying, we'll be um, we'll be riding at Brimstone for two days, so it should be a good time. So stay tuned for that footage, it's coming up. It's gonna be a blast. Oh yeah, the goggle paw. <laughs> the notorious goggle paw. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you check out more of our awesome content on the channel. Get out there, guys. Hit those trails. Have fun riding and stay safe out there. We'll see you in the next video. Huge shout out to our current supporters, Royal Distributing, Super ATV, FXR Racing, Fin Trail, and MBRP Power Sports.